so my highlight, and, and I'm saying highlight, not highlights, because I think this was such an important study for melanoma at ASCO 2024, was the report of the results from the Nadina trial at the plenary session today. And what we saw was that neoadjuvant ipilimumab combined with nivolumab given neoadjuvantly prior to surgery in resected stage three melanoma that was clinically detectable. It did not have to be resist measurable, just clinically detectable. Uh, at least one lymph node involved with melanoma and up to three in transit metastases were allowed. Neoadjuvant combination ipinevo versus adjuvant nivolumab we saw the event-free survival substantially reduced when we give these drugs neoadjuvantly. The hazard ratio was 0.32. That's a 68% reduction in the risk of an event. Now, what is an event? An event is either progression prior to surgery, recurrence after surgery, or death due to melanoma. So that's a 68% reduction. What's important about this trial, it was pure immunotherapy. And this is one thing that we need to look at in the whole oncology field. How can we better utilize the immune system using pure checkpoint inhibition or other pure immunotherapies rather than trying to activate the immune system and then dampening it down with things like chemotherapy. Why are we doing that? Because for many cancers, the standard treatments for decades have been based on chemotherapy. So to make that switch to purely use the immunotherapy is a hard one, but it's something that we need to do in the cancer field because we may not be curing as many as 30% of patients across cancer by not utilizing the immune system in this way. Another important point with immunotherapy is it's very different to chemotherapy. It is not about dose density. Uh, the protocols in the trials to date have been written with these strict intervals between doses. We need to change our paradigm, change our thinking. We need to give a dose and then watch how the patient does, look at their immune system to decide when the no next dose, if any, should be given. So it is a different treatment. Although in melanoma, we've been using it for more than a decade, we really need to get good at using it well to minimize the toxicity and utilize it better across other cancers.